Eugen Bleuler, Wikipedia Audio Paul Eugen Bleuler, 30 April 1857 July 15, 1939 was a Swiss psychiatrist and eugenicist most notable for his contributions to the understanding of mental illness. He coined many psychiatric terms, such as schizophrenia, schizoid, autism, depth psychology and what Sigmund Freud called Bleuler's happily chosen term ambivalence. Bleuler was born in Zolikon, a town near Zurich in Switzerland, to Johann Rudolf Bleuler, a wealthy farmer, and Pauline Bleuler Bleuler. He studied medicine in Zurich and following his graduation in 1881 he worked as a medical assistant to Gottlieb Burkhardt at the Waldau Psychiatric Clinic in Bern. Leaving this post in 1884 he spent one year on medical study trips to Jean-Martin Charcot in Paris, to Bernhard von Gutten in Munich and to London. Thereafter he returned to Zurich to take a post as an intern at the Bergalsley, a university hospital. In 1886 Bleuler became the director of a psychiatric clinic at Renault a hospital located in an old monastery on an island in the Rhine. It was noted at the time for being backward, and Bleuler set about improving conditions for the patients resident there. Biography Bleuler returned to the Bergalsley in 1898 where he was appointed director. Following his interest in hypnotism, especially in its introspective variant, Bleuler became interested in Sigmund Freud's work. He favorably reviewed Joseph Brewer and Sigmund Freud's studies on hysteria. Like Freud, Bleuler believed that complex mental processes could be unconscious. He encouraged his staff at the Bergalsley to study unconscious and psychotic mental phenomena. Influenced by Bleuler, Carl Jung, and Franz Ricklin used word association tests to integrate Freud's theory of repression with empirical psychological findings. As a series of letters demonstrates, Bleuler performed a self-analysis with Freud, beginning in 1905. He found Freud's movement to be overdogmatic and resigned from the International Psychoanalytic Association in 1911, writing to Freud that this all or nothing is in my opinion necessary for religious communities and useful for political parties, but for science I consider it harmful. Bleuler remained interested in Freud's work, citing him favorably, for example, in his often reprinted textbook of psychiatry. He also supported the nomination of Freud for the Nobel Prize in the late twenties. Bleuler introduced the term schizophrenia to the world in a lecture in Berlin on April 24, 1908. However, perhaps as early as 1907 he and his colleagues had been using the term in Zurich to replace Emil Kreppelin's term dementia precox. He revised and expanded his schizophrenia concept in his seminal study of 1911, Dementia Precox, Oder Grupp der Schizophrenien, which was only translated into English in 1950. Like Kreppelin, Bleuler argued that dementia precox, or the schizophrenias, was fundamentally a physical disease process characterized by exacerbations and remissions. No one was ever completely cured of schizophrenia there was always some sort of lasting cognitive weakness or defect that was manifest in behavior. Unlike Kreppelin, he believed that the overall prognosis was not uniformly grim, the dementia was a secondary symptom not directly caused by the underlying biological process, and that the biological disease was much more prevalent in the population due to its simple and especially latent forms. Bleuler wrote in 1911, when the disease process flares up, it is more correct, in my view, to talk in terms of deteriorating attacks, rather than its recurrence. 
Of course the term recurrence is more comforting to a patient and his relatives than the notion of progressively deteriorating attacks. The eugenic sterilization of persons diagnosed with schizophrenia was advocated by Bleuler. He believed racial deterioration would result from the propagation of mental and physical cripples in his textbook of psychiatry. The more severely burdened should not propagate themselves. If we do nothing but make mental and physical cripples capable of propagating themselves, and the healthy stocks have to limit the number of their children because so much has to be done for the maintenance of others, if natural selection is generally suppressed, then unless we will get new measures our race must rapidly deteriorate. He believed the disease's central characteristics to be the product of a process of splitting between the emotional and the intellectual functions of the personality. He favored early discharge from hospital into a community environment to avoid institutionalization. Relationship with Freud Bleuler also explored the concept of moral idiocy, and the relationship between neurosis and alcoholism. He followed Freud in seeing sexuality as a potent influence upon anxiety, pondered on the origins of the sense of guilt, and studied the process of what he termed switching. Bleuler was known for his clinical observation and willingness to let symptoms speak for themselves, as well as for his skillful expository writings. Dementia Precox, or the Group of Schizophrenias Further contributions <laughs>